briefly give you a, an update on the future of finance uh, uh, initiative, uh, which we uh, uh, which we cooperate with the uh, United Nations uh, office in New York. Now, uh, Gary didn't mention, but we've had a finance finance working group in the academy for quite some years. We had <clears throat> a number of workshops on the future of uh, future economics or how how the, how we uh, need to shift the economic system to be more human centered more value based more sustainable so that's been going on for some years and then we had an opportunity <clears throat> through uh, uh, a link with some uh, investors in 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 the US who uh, had links to the UN and were proposing a, uh, a collaboration, a workshop at the UN on conscious capital. I'll explain in a moment. And we uh, were connected to that group and they asked us essentially to provide some scientific expertise and, uh, 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 and become part of the project. Um, the uh, idea of conscious capital is perhaps something uh, un unconventional. And indeed, <clears throat> when we had our workshop at, uh, in New York uh, uh, earlier this year, uh, the comment from some of the UN uh, participants was that such discussions had never been heard in the halls of the UN. And at the same time, they were very pleased to, to hear such a completely different approach and to to, to uh, talk about issues that they privately all felt had long been hovering in the air and needed to be addressed and nobody dared to speak about it. Namely the fact that everything we do, all our intentions, all our uh, work, um, all our actions are colored by our consciousness, by what we understand the world to be, uh, where we see ourselves in it, uh, the extent to which we are conscious of the consequences of our actions. <clears throat> so when we then, there was a, originally a small design team of, I believe, seven people, 13, 13, 13 of which Frank is one and Gary, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the meeting in New York was the first expansion to a group of 50. And the organizers were very, uh, intent on, on ensuring that the core understanding that had been developed in the design team of 13 people would be ex extended to the larger group. And that's not an easy thing because it's, it's kind of hard to put into words exactly what that understanding is. Um, but uh, essentially, the, uh, the understanding is that you cannot expect uh, uh, better outcomes, uh, more profound understandings if, if, if you don't have higher intentions and a higher understanding. So we had a lot of work in small groups to facilitate the group. So that was the key uh, uh, approach in the UN meeting so that we all came to be on the same page and understand the core idea. Uh, then we had the second meeting at the World Bank, which was more influenced by the World Academy and it was much more content oriented. Uh, we had the opportunity to be there because of uh, a vast fellow, Craig Hammer, who uh, 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 works at the World Bank. Uh, so we had the opportunity to meet some uh, World Bank people and we brought in uh, our issues that we saw as important. Um, some of the things we discussed there um, uh, was um, what conscious capital might be, uh, the types of capital that need to be considered because it's not just financial capital, it's a natural capital, there's social capital and so on and the interconnections between them. Um, talked about the evolution of money from an individual trust to a symbol of 
social power. Um, and we started to reflect on what kind of strategies or innovative strategies there might be for financing sustainable development from different angles, whether through the financial markets or, uh, or um, through central bank programs, um, but with the aim of addressing the number one concern of the UN at the moment, which is uh, the SDGs, how to uh, realize the SDGs by 2030. And um, as you know, the general consensus is we have about 10 years to turn this around, if we are going to turn it around in the light of climate change and other uh, environmental threats. So we talked about various different uh, uh, possibilities such as blockchain currencies and other innovative instruments and so on. Yeah. Um, we had also a special uh, visitor, Gilles Bastista uh, Patrick, who is the uh, uh, one of the uh, leaders of the Fridays for Future movement, and she spoke to us in a very compelling way about how the young generation thinks about future capital or what capital and all other sectors need to consider. Uh, we had also a lot of open discussions, but uh, looked at theoretical foundations of, of capital or understanding capital, uh, business and finance, and uh, especially also uh, system change invest investing, sustainable res responsible investing. Uh, but it isn't uh, enough to actually change the system. It's, it's a bit of a cream wash, or it doesn't really change the fundamental structures of how the economy works. Yeah. So we had, uh, or based on Frank's very extensive work on, on this topic, this, uh, this proposal of uh, how you, uh, you can have uh, system change investing that's actually going to turn the whole system around and remove the causes and not just the uh, symptoms of uh, uh, unsustainable <coughs> capitalism. Um, we talked a little bit about human capital uh, formation and um, we also spoke about some fundamental issues in social transformation because it's very easy to say well we need a systemic change but is it even possible uh, do how do complex systems behave what moves them can they be uh, can they actually become conscious and deep and become the masters of their own future fate so and then we are um, just uh, looking ahead uh, for the next steps and the next step is this meeting um where and i think uh, we have already explained what the aim is yeah to understand the nature of money and to stop us pontificating and get you involved uh, i would like to do a little exercise with you and that is um as gary said we we, we want to start with questions um and um, so I'm going to ask you all to reflect, reflect briefly and uh, see what comes up uh, out of the moment and uh, reflect on what, uh, uh, what sort of questions you have about money, about capital, about <laughs> finance that puzzle you, that um, you feel um, require explanation or require an answer. Yeah. You central that sort of captures it for you. The question that puzzles me about finance is that it seems that there's so many things left undone, important work, uh, restoring ecosystems, even up, upholding infrastructure, basic things, so much good work that could be done and needs to be done, and apparently there's no money for it. And at the same time, we know that trillions of dollars now invested at negative interest rates at a loss how is it possible that with such a surplus of capital such important work is not done okay